Hi, I'm Yusuf. In this video, we will talk about deep hole drilling. Before the camp, uh, let's talk about some uh, with what is deep hole drilling. When there is not uh, the hole uh, quantity is not too much, for example, 10 or 20 time isn't so important what but uh, when it is when the quantity is too much a thousand or ten thousand time is very important in this uh, when it's like that the tool uh, manufacturers created special tools that's named gun drill for these operations these gun drills uh, has a different working style uh, they there must be a, a pilot uh, drill for them and uh, they must uh, engage the hole with a uh, small uh, small rpm and small uh, feed rate and when it engages it opens the true hole the uh, true true uh, coolant uh, and it must make uh, a thousand rpm 10,000 nearly rpm uh, and uh, must make a very uh, much feed rate and after drilling uh, it must stop the coolant and uh, with no RPM or uh, very little RPM, it's, it must make a retract move. Let's uh, look at this. It doesn't open the uh, coolant. It makes a little RPM and uh, feed rate. When it engages, it opens the uh, coolant and uh, makes a very high feed rate and very high RPM and you can uh, drill a very deep hole with this gun drill <coughs> when it finishes it it stops and retracts with no coolant okay let's make this with an X First, we must make a pilot's hole 20 mm deep and weekly generates. After that, we choose deep hole drilling. We choose it and it can see the IPW. Uh, we must edit the cycle when you look at these options first uh, they are too much but I will explain them all there are two co three conditions engage cut and retract the main purpose is changing the RPM changing the feed rate and changing the cooling option first in engage uh, we know that there will uh, there will no be coolants and spindle rpm must be low for example to uh, 300 no reverse direction if you activate it it will develop before the engage it will stop Okay, we uh, arranged the RPM. The engage is finished. Let's change the uh, feed rate. The engage feed rate will be 111. Okay. Now it is time for cut condition. We will activate the cut condition. You can on, you can change it 
on or true we don't want we don't want dwell we don't want first cut or last cut i will tell it later we don't want uh, dwell okay we click okay and let's arrange the rpm example 800 and uh, let's arrange the feed rate it is 600 millimeter per minute okay the last one uh, retract we can off or give an rpm to the spindle for example uh, 300 uh, we uh, off the coolant we close the coolant okay and we define the feed rate retract it is 222 okay and click generate It makes the engage move with 111. It makes the feed move at 600. And it makes the retract move at 222. Okay. We can see the just the feed rates, but we can't see uh, spindle speeds or coolant options. Uh, traditional uh, post outputs you can't get this information you must create new posts <coughs> you will create from here I choose millimeters if you use inch you can change it library from cinematic uh, 840 or Fanuc advanced or hide 9 advanced I'll choose cinematic 8 the uh, 840 I click OK and I will save it Okay, let's try the posts. I click post process and I choose the post template and click OK. Okay, we can see that with a rapid motion uh, until Z10, uh, we take the uh, we take very big spindle speed but it's not suitable for uh, this type of uh, drills so we must delete it we can delete it from post but if you have uh, thousands of uh, holes you can't delete them all so we must delete it from the templates we find it from rapid move and we delete the S values and click OK and save. We pause process. Now I don't see any S value. OK. Uh, it approaches until Z3 it closes the uh, coolants it makes 200 <coughs> 
spindle speed and it makes engage move with uh, 111 mm per minute until Z 17 it makes the real cutting spindle speed it makes the cutting feed rate until 108 uh, after that it makes the, it will make the retract move so it changes the RPM it closes the coolant and make retract move with 222 uh, feed rate let's change something I change the retract RPM with off okay I post process it again and we can see that there is no spindle speed until Z3 it closes the spindle okay let's look at first cut and last cut options in cut conditions if I choose if I open the first cut and last cut and change their feed rates first cut for example 200 and 2 last cut 333 and click generate Okay, we can see the feed rates from here. We do not need posts. It makes the engage feed rate. It makes the first cut feed rate with three millimeters. It makes the cutting feed rate. It makes the last cut, and it makes retract. Let's see from the post. It makes the engage move, it makes cutting until 29 with 222, it makes the cuts and it makes the last cuts. Okay. Okay, in deep hole drilling, uh, we can encounter with these situations. I don't know the English translation, but two drills are crossed with each other okay we click generate we click generate and with default parameters there is no difference okay when we change the intersection strategy we can see this it makes the engage move first cut, cut, last cut and retract but if you look carefully uh, we can see cuts and we can see the step over value which is defined here step over 50% of cuts so we can see 300 here uh, if you want to make the last cut and first cut here we will change this crossover distance if this uh, it means that if the gap uh, between holes are uh, lower than 10 millimeter it will make the uh, it will make the step over behavior but if it is uh, more than 10 millimeter it will make cross 
our behavior that is defined here. Four, four, four. Okay, let's look at it. It makes the engage. It makes the uh, first cut, cut, last cut, step over, first cut, last cut, and retract. Okay. There are too much parameters for this type of uh, operations, but you can uh, achieve it with NX easily if you know where to change. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, please ask me on comments.